I am going to be restarting Breath of the Wild. Oop, that is the Xbox controller. Dude, what the fuck? Um, no, dude. I, I, I don't work weekends anymore. I changed up my shit. Uh, let's see here. Hold on, I'll be back in a second, all right? Now let's see here. Dude, I'm fucking nervous about this shit, but let's do it. I have my uh I have my original save on my wife's uh Switch, which was our first Switch. So I didn't really play Breath of the Wild on this Switch, which is my Switch. <clears throat> <clears throat> So if I regret anything, I have a backup save. <laughs> hey, listen. How you doing, dude? You doing good? Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. Yo, this is cool seeing this all over again from the beginning. Dang, I ain't got no nipples. What? Dude, I feel you, man. All of my overtime kind of, uh, kind of ceased <laughs> I was getting like at minimum 16 hours of overtime uh, every week but I was going well over 20 and then they started filling in the, the positions that were like vacant I was like oh you motherfuckers I was like well you know what I got seniority here and uh, I want off the fucking weekends I'm sick of this shit It was really just the uh, the position. I was tired of uh, checking people in at the front gate. Dang, he just been napping in here. The back looks like brain. That is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. I don't know. It's not going to electrocute me, is it? Whoa! It's like a Zelda switch. I feel like all this is new to me again. You don't ever get to go back in here, huh?
Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. You know what I want to do is uh, get the Master Sword. I never, I never went to get the Master Sword in my other playthrough. I know you have to go through like, I think it was like a maze or something like that to get to it. You know, another thing I, I, I didn't really like, like about this uh, game uh, is like, dude, like with any game, I hate weapons that break. That shit's so irritating. Link, you are the light, our light. That must shine upon high rule once again. Now go. Easy. In this game, or just like games is specific? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember the, the weapons breaking fairly quick in this. Did you ever beat this game? Santa Claus over here just staring. Nah. Dude, my, my wife beat it. Yeah, my wife beat it. And, uh, but, dude, like, my, my wife, like, when she plays games, she doesn't do very much exploring. She kind of, like, just goes and, like, plays the game and then, like, runs through the story and then, like, that's it. It's like, what? How do you have fun like that? <laughs> it's already fucking uh, damaged. Man, grab that apple. What's up, Santa Claus? <laughs> well met, stranger. I'd rather unusual, or it's rather unusual, seeing her soul in these parts. Who are you? Hmm. Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where are we, good sir? Answering the question with the question. That is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meaning to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. That temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of service. Yo, where's that glider at, dude? You got that glider with you? 
Yes. Huh? Well then, just up yourself to that torch there. And how may I ask, are you planning to use it? To set things on fire. Hmm. That is rather unnerving. Please be cautious with that around any dry grass that might catch fire. You know, there are plenty of monsters in this area. That torch would make a good weapon if <laughs> need be. However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Hmm. I beg your pardon. I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. <laughs> Oh, forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. Oh, I got a succulent treat in my fucking pants, old man. Oh, shit. What's up, Roni? How you doing, man? Is that a sword? What? Link. Something calls upon me. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. You just got home from walking Simba? Nice, dude. How'd it go? He didn't bite anybody, did he? Nah, he's too kind for something like that. Dude, I have it. Is it, is it any good, man? I feel like uh, reboots of shows like that, like... Might be dumb, but I mean, I don't know. Not gonna lie, I, I was actually gonna like try and check out like like maybe like one or two episodes of it just to see. Cause I do like I'm a I'm a dude, I'm a huge, huge say by the bell fan. And that new one that came out, dude, fucking sucks. I mean, granted, I only saw like two episodes and I was like, yeah, I don't know about this shit. We had sunshine and nice weather yesterday and now we got snow again. Oh, damn, dude, that sucks. It's kind of cold over here, but I think it's supposed to like warm up into like the uh, the low 50s today. I'm not sure though. You really like it? I like how it's, uh... oh, really? I, so, so some of the uh, commercials and shit I saw on it, they, they were like trying to uh, try to like copy too much of uh, of the original f uh, Fresh Prince. I was like, man, like do your own thing, you know? Like you don't have to like copy, uh, you know, the original. Like like I saw uh, a commercial where he. Uh, Where he was like turning his jacket inside out. Because he didn't like the uniform. And I, you know, remember, uh. Remember, Will Smith did that in, uh. In the original. No bites, but he likes to bark at uh, homeless people. <laughs> you know. Paco, like, Paco doesn't really bark all that much. That's sweetie. Paco's a little angel when he goes outside. Sweetie, on the other hand, as soon as you open the door, she zooms out. Like, oh my god. Like, it's midnight. Chill. Like, chill, little girl. Oh shit, it's, it's, it's Dusty Marie. It's Dusty motherfucking Marie. What's up, Dusty? How you doing? You want this game? You should get it. 100% is really fun. I just started it. So this is the first, like, 10 minutes. You see, I don't even have shit yet. I got nothing. Uh, it's supposed to be, like, the original but darker. Will Smith... Yeah, I, I heard that Will Smith uh, ha was having something to do with it. That's kind of cool. So, are, are there, like, weekly episodes of it coming out? Oh. Come here, big boy. I want to take your club, too, bitch. Dust. 
dusted him. We dusty Marie him. What's up, motherfucker? But take your club too, bitch. See you in Valhalla, mon ami. Let's see what's up with this shit. Give me that good, good. What? We got some new trousers? Let's fucking go. Uh. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. It's only a peacock too, right? That's all good. I got, I, I got me some peacock. I get peacock for free because I have uh, Xfinity. I'm glad I didn't have to pay for that shit. But you know, I, I just got into peacock like maybe like two weeks ago. Like we we watch like random shit on there, you know. Damn, Dusty Marie again. We, we watch random shit on there, but I've never actually, like, watched it myself, and I was just, like, the other day I was, like, yo, there's actually, like, some really good shit on here. <laughs> like, this isn't bad. I added, like, a bunch of shit to my, uh, to my, uh, watch list. It's a touche, Peacock. Touche. Yo, what's that noise? arrows over here oh that's his axe banging against that little ass of his yo what up fam I want your fucking bow can I have your bow oh you still alive oh <laughs> Yo, Dusty, this game's on sale all the time for like 40 bucks. I'll let you know next time I see it on sale, alright? What did he do? <laughs> oh, 
Lord. Him on his ass. The Great Plateau Tower, distilling local information. How you doing today, Dusty? I didn't even ask. You doing good, huh? You doing good? Or are you pissed? Regional map extracted. Noise. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought he was about to fall. I thought I was about to fall off the entire side. My heart stopped. I even jerked my controller, kind of. See, we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were on top that tower? Wow, now a voice, you say. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? I see. Well, that is unfortunate. Dude, it was Zelda. It was Zelda. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle? Mm. That is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path, so many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. 
it would appear that mom that that moment is fast approaching. Ooh. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? You bet your sweet ass I do. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. Yeah. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Mm. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over. <laughs> oh, ho, piqued your interest, have I? Yes, I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Mm. Worry not. I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Mm. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Damn. Like that, dude? Come on, let me show you something. What you got? What you got? Are we going up here, huh? Oh, you want me to go in there? I can dig it, dude. This ain't my first rodeo. Ooh. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light? It began glowing at the exact moment these tires rose up from the ground. <laughs> I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Alright. I wish there was like, uh... Like, different paragliders you can kind of get. I wonder why they never did that. You know what I mean? Like, like faster ones, or maybe ones that, like, had, like, a different design on it, maybe. Something like that. Uh, let's not go that way. I don't want to drown. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of scared me. I was like, whoa! What? Omen Ah Shrine. I think that's how you say that. I'm very bad at, uh, very bad at pronouncing shit. Oh, let's fucking go. The power. I feel it soaring through my veins. I'm really excited to like start this over. I've like been wanting to play it for like a really long time. I've picked it up and put it down I don't know how many times. These are where my dumbass really doesn't excel. <laughs> Some of these I'm like, uh, of what? some of that, huh? Alright, you selected room for your uh, Sheikah Slates. That's going to be L.
what up? Humble muck, blessed with the sight of goddess Hylia and dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. See you, Valhalla. Valhalla. Hala, hala, hala. This gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. God is smile upon you. Damn, like a fart in the wind. He's outro. This guy, what a fucking show off. As soon as you manage to get your hands on a spirit orb, well done. Hmm. Clairvoyance. Oh, oh, perhaps just something similar. As no one gets older, it can become or as one gets older to become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. <laughs> but perhaps that is not true for everyone. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. Hmm. It's all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. Hmm. It has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago. Or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasures from each of these shrines and I will give you my paraglider. Ooh. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick to finding shrines. Hmm. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? <laughs> I'm afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look, your, take a look at the map on your Sheikah Slate. Hmm. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke. Uh, uh -huh. The shrine you came from. In the tower. Mm -hmm. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. 
Dude, you are tripping right now, dude. Just like that. I'm <laughs> surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. <laughs> Leave an old man his secrets. Now then, I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. D d did you know about the scope on your Chica slate? Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. Go ahead and take a look if you feel so inclined to do so. Oh. I seen it. It's right over there. This fucking guy. Make me climb all the way to fuck down. Wait. Later, bitch. Thanks for the steak, bitches. <laughs> now I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, 
that's when I have to make the uh the food with the pepper so I'm hot, right? Am I still cold? Pretty sure this is the way I gotta go. Shit, I don't know. Let's uh, let's go over here. If I carry that torch, will it, uh, will it be warm? <laughs> Am I gonna die here? <laughs> for 
first, let's, uh, let's see here. All right, we good now. We good. She can sleep. She can slate authenticated distilling room. Dun dun dun. Stop the flow of time for an object. Give me my shit. hammer. Oof, let's take it. got to do here Oops. I don't know why I thought that was going to do something um dude I do not remember whatsoever uh what to do here So, so we can't, uh, we can't lift this. Can we, uh, wait, I guess I can try that here. Okay. <laughs> I think 
didn't take too long to figure out. I'm not that disappointed in myself. Yo, what's up, Lisa? How you doing? Your resourcefulness is in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. Give it. I'm doing pretty good. I, uh, I decided to, like, restart this game because it's been, like, years since I played it and uh, I've always wanted to beat it in like the past like two or three months I've actually like picked it up and like put it down and like didn't continue playing it um, mainly because I forgot like some of the controls and how to do this and how to do that forgot where I was in the story um, so I was like you know what I'm just gonna make a whole new uh, game save and uh, and play but yeah but I'm just hanging out the wife is uh, the wife is at a uh, what is it called um it's like a like a wedding expo or something like that for her job. Well, like I'm kind of like <laughs> I'm a little confused because like I don't understand why she woke me up at six thirty this morning to take her to to like drop her off at work. Like not like that big of a deal because we live like less than five minutes away from where she works but it's like wh why did you want me to drive you there I, like yeah I don't know and I was just like what the fuck and then I couldn't like fall back asleep man I can't go this way I tried to come home and go back to sleep and I couldn't fall asleep I was like come on yo I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try this out here And then she want she wanted me to do it tomorrow too, and I was like, nah. <laughs> I was like, no. I was like, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not taking you tomorrow. You're on your own tomorrow. Cause she loves you and wants to spend as much time with you as possible, baby. <laughs> we didn't even like talk. Cause I was like. I had just woken up and I had to like get up and uh and take her. So I wasn't even like saying anything. Cause like she she was like talking to me like she just like as soon as I woke up she just started going like twenty-five miles an hour. But when when I get home we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, I'm gonna make this for dinner, I'm gonna do that, da 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 I'm like, uh Okay. She's like this and that and da 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 I'm like uh, okay. <laughs> I was like, sounds good. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I was like, you do understand that I'm like sleep driving right now, right? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what the hell you're saying to me. Yeah, then I, I came home and I was I just hopped back into bed. Grabbed the dogs. Paco ran up next to me. He got under the blanket next to me. Sweetie got on the other side. And I was like all comfortable and shit, but I just couldn't fall back to sleep. I turned the TV on. Predator was on. I was like, man, let's watch some Predator when I try to fall back to sleep. Can't I, uh, I thought I could, like, cook in here. Oh, 
this desolate plateau, the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. And today I did myself. Truly, I created the perfect dish. I call it spicy meat and seafood fry. This recipe not only restores health, but also keeps me warm even when traveling the snowy mountains. With this dish on my side, I no longer have need of the itchy warm doublet. I do not know how I allowed this to happen, but it seems I forgot to write down a very important recipe. I know it contained raw meat and spicy pepper. However, I simply cannot remember what else I, I used. My age is catching up to me. There was like... There's something in here I think that you're supposed to, uh, like you can take. I don't remember why. And how the hell do you start cooking? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you can hold like multiple things. Yeah, that's right. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Yeah, there was something over here. I don't know if it's like on this, uh, on the outside or what. Do you guys, uh, do you guys still have Godfather's, Godfather's Pizza out there, Lisa? Or did you guys ever have Godfather's Pizza? <laughs> That's just like a West Coast thing, then. Hmm. There, there was like, uh, it was like a franchise. They, they had like a bunch of them over here, and then they slowly just, uh, like one by one, started closing them out. Um, the closest one is like 20 minutes away. It's not like far, far, but it's still like kind of far. You know what I'm saying? But. Um, to, uh, tomorrow's my birthday and I'm gonna be like all like hanging out by myself because my, the wife is doing that wedding expo again tomorrow and I was like man you know what I'm gonna take my ass to Godfather's they have this bomb ass uh, taco pizza there Oof. oh shit what's up what you got it's like man I'm about to give me a taco pizza I haven't had one of those in I don't know how long. You know what sucks too is that like uh, when my wife lived uh, up north, I see up north like it's like, like like the like the city's far, but it's just a city north of us. When, when we lived up there, um, there was a Godfather's like not far from us at all. It only took long to get there because you have to take like these city streets, uh, you know, to get to get over there. It was always like a lot of traffic. But there was a Godfather's there, and I remember when I saw it there, I was like, oh shit, there's a Godfather's over here? Like, so close to, like, where I live? Like, I'm gonna be having taco pizza all the time. I think I went there twice in, like, the few years that we lived there. <laughs> like, what? And, like, that was just, like, total regret that I never, uh, ate there more often. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm like, shit. I'm fucking old as fuck. Tomorrow I'm gonna be old as fuck. I can't believe that shit. I still can't believe it. Like, what? How am I, how am I gonna be like... I don't know. It's weird. I feel like, I don't feel like I, I don't feel that old. But I don't like my body does type of thing. <laughs> like, oh, my back. My back's killing me right now. 
that's really you know that's really it is my bad yeah. but i can't really say that age has like a whole lot to do with that because i like had a bad back for like ever so that must be the other one over there the one there is that uh yeah we might as well go this way do this again this little baby <laughs> I was talking to my mom the other day when I was at uh, I was at work driving around and I called her, and uh, she's like, "I can't believe you're gonna be that old." Like, mom, stop, shit. My mom's exactly uh, thirty years older than me. Wait. I never even went to that one. What? How did I not even see that right there? Wait. Oh, yes, yeah, right here. Yo, I'm going to that one. <laughs> I'm not going to this one that's like all far all the way up there. Man, hell no. Yeah, I'm drinking like water right now so I can stay hydrated. Because I'm about to get fucked up. I just gotta like kind of like cool it. Because, you know, I still gotta like pick the wife up. <laughs> so at some point, I'm gonna have to be like, all right, all right, all right. Let's, uh, let's calm it down a little bit. Plus, I'm only gonna be drinking beers. I'll wait to get to the hard shit uh, later on when she's home. Alright. Oh, wait. We're going to this one. in the ruins. I gotta remember to check these when I see them. Uh-oh. That one's alive? down and uh, use the restroom.
was just trying to make me look stupid. Bomb trial, huh? Is it? <laughs> what's the temp over there? Yo, what's up, Anakin? Um, I made you a uh, I made you a, a little soundbite too, Anakin. So when you, so, so when you're mean to me, this is what I'm gonna start playing for you. Low 60s? Damn. Hey Google, what's the current temperature? Right now in Tacoma, it's 44 degrees and cloudy. Today, there will be scattered showers with a forecasted high of 47 and a low of 39. Damn, it's 44. I thought it was going to get like, warmer, but I guess not. Maybe you'll be outside next time. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, dude, see? It's 12.20 right now. I was like, ah. Uh, I, I was just thinking when I was downstairs. Should I grab a beer? I'm gonna wait, though. Oh. Let's go! But you, but you ate and drank some water, so I'm barely tipsy. Oh. Yeah, I'm drinking water right now. To, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this glass of water for some little hydration and then I'll go grab a beer. I have seen the turtles, yeah. I saw it uh I saw it like a day or two after it came out on Disney Plus. I liked it, dude. It was pretty good. Did you like it? Some people were kind of hating on it, but I I thought it was good. I didn't have any beef with it. Barry, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I didn't really know what to expect from it, so I was kind of like, eh. Let's drop, uh, let's drop these. Dude, I can't eat before drinking. It's too expensive to get drunk then. <laughs> Later, dude. <laughs> yeah, when I when I went downstairs, I uh, I I opened uh, I opened a tab for I put my laptop up and opened the tab up. Oh shit! Damn, I didn't think it would get me like that. that thing over here right and then stuff it in that oh yeah then it's gonna blow up over there oh no wait 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 wait, wait. Top just decided to update from nowhere, but now I'm back. 
I should go to, I should uh, go in the stream and be like, what does your mind reading say about my thoughts right now? If she, <laughs> she turns red, she knows. <laughs> Dude, that would be fucking funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're dumb, dude. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, you must have a newer MacBook if you're uh, if you're still getting uh, updates on it. <laughs> That shit hit real hard, my guy. Real hard. All right. Um. I think I'm good. Let's, let's go see. that green apple crown I've always wondered about it yeah but this yeah it's downstairs on my laptop it's not up here oh you got a 2017 damn I got a 2012 uh, 17 inch uh, MacBook Pro do you know I'm gonna uh, dude if if you ever can, dude, if you don't already, uh, uh, if you don't already have a solid state drive in that, dude, dude, cause like my 2012, man, I threw a, a solid state drive in that and then put, uh, a total of eight gigs of RAM in it and whole oh, shit, dude, cause that laptop was slow as fuck. Fuck, but I put that all I put all that in there and it like pretty much like it was a brand new computer pretty much If crown is is a beer then apple beer sounds disgusting or is it no crown royale? No, it's a, uh, it's a cognac. I believe I went from Mac uh, OS 10.3 to uh, to 12 Fuck. Yeah, see I, I have a uh, I have a custom uh, OS on mine because uh um, my shit doesn't, uh, my laptop isn't supported anymore. I don't, uh, what, what do I have on that? I think Big Sur's the latest one, right? That, that's what you're on right now, Roni? I think I had, uh, what do I have? It's like, I think it's the one before Big Sur. Did you? <laughs> I'm gonna have to look, dude. How long has she been live? What's her live count? And and, and then I'll, uh, I'll I'll go back and look at it. Fifty-seven minutes. All right. Can you guys like hard ciders? You know my uh, my wife is in the process of uh, opening up her own business, and she's making a hard cider tap room. It's gonna be like, for the most part, is only gonna be hard cider. So in my uh, in my state, a lot of uh, there's a lot of hard cider companies that come out of uh, Washington State, and that's because of all the apples and shit that we uh, that we have here in Washington. So she she already knows like so many like owners of uh, of hard cider uh, companies. She worked for a hard cider company. Uh, for a bit, but they were kind of like fucking dickheads, and um, she, she she pretty much got fired. I think she pretty much got fired from there because they were being fucking little assholes. I still I, I still kind of want to beat that fucking dude's ass for being such an asshole and treating my wife the way he did. But re you know, regardless, past that, um, yeah, I came out a little stronger than I said I would, but it was great. <laughs> Recordling? Never heard of that one. She got this, uh, 
She got this cider. I, I think it's uh, it, it's a uh, dude. Like I forgot all, all 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 the names of these hard cider companies, but I think it's called One Town or something like that. They have a uh, um, they have a mimosa uh, cider, and she got it like two weeks ago. And um, I haven't had a chance. We haven't had a chance to open it up and try it. But it sounds bomb as fuck. Tonight, though. Tonight, we're going to be drinking that. I was just telling uh, Lisa that I'm going to... Well, this weekend, I'm going to be getting fucked up. I just got them, man. So I guess I do have to do that one up there then. Way up there. So let's go back. Uh, I guess here. But yeah, she's at a. Uh, she's gonna be opening up her own hard cider. Uh, tap room. That's gonna be cool. But back in the day, when when she worked at the uh, at that at that uh, that other cider company that she got uh, fired from, she was the uh, she was a tap room manager there. So she pretty much ran um, the entire she ran the entire thing. And uh, dude, I I used to drink there for free. Oof, Hein remembers that. <laughs> I know Heinz, Heinz remembers that. I used to go there all the time and just fucking drink. I used to bring my, uh, I would bring like my Switch, my uh, my Vita, and I would just like go sit in the corner, put my headphones on, listen, listen to music. Under this one? Yeah, I put my headphones on, listen to music, and like play games there while she served me my drinks. <laughs> Keep it up, dude. Keep it up. Am I playing on master difficulty? Nah, I guess I just played on normal. Is there harder difficulties? I didn't know that. I just loaded it up. I didn't see anything that, uh... I didn't see anything that said anything about the difficulty. go get like some uh some warmer clothes and shit because where do you get like the warmer clothes and all that i know i need to uh i need to like craft some better uh uh or uh, cook some food
You're getting your internet not fucked tomorrow? What? You're, uh, you're, you're getting it upgraded or fixed or what? Oh, damn, dude, you gotta run your data up real fast doing that, man. <laughs> my my friend used to do that, and, uh, my friend was doing that, and, and, and I told him, I was like, dude, you're gonna run your same shit. You're gonna run your data up really high doing that, man. He said, oh, I, I have unlimited data. I was like, dude, nobody has truly 100% unlimited data. After a certain amount of uh, data that you use, they're gonna start. They're gonna start throttling your shit, man. Like one hundred percent, they're gonna start throttling it. He's like, no, no, they're not gonna do that. I was like, all right, dude. I was like, whatever, man. And he did it, and he could not do shit. He couldn't load anything up on his phone, data wise. If he were like open up a web page and shit, it would like never load. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, I told you, man. Like, what in the hell? Oh, shit. My computer has no Wi Fi signal, so it's USB tethering the. It's USB tethering the Wi Fi. Not data. The computer has no Wi Fi receiver, I mean. I don't think I get that, dude. So, what do you have, like a. You have an Ethernet cord hooked up to your router, is what you're saying, or your modem? Or you're using your phone's data for for internet on your laptop or computer. Because regardless of, of, of how you're doing it, you're still using the data on your phone. You should be at least, I mean I could be wrong, Maybe they maybe they do it different, you know, in other countries or something. But I know over here, man. Yeah, you do that shit. No, I can't get the Ethernet into the computer because the router is in another room. Ah. Those Wi-Fi receivers, uh, those little antennas aren't very expensive. You should be able to grab one of those. Fighting all these guys. Oh shit, they all sleeping. You don't even have the data turned on, but that's still gonna be uh, pretty slow. So, what I'm doing is I'm going, I'm getting an Ethernet uh, to power, an Ethernet to wall power adapter. You talk about like a, uh, like one of those boosters? Like a Wi-Fi booster thing. I have one of those in the living room, and it's got a uh, like a little Ethernet port uh, at the bottom of it. That's how I. That's how I have my. Uh, I have my my PlayStation uh, downstairs. Wait, no, I have my Xbox, uh, my One S, hooked up to that, and then I have my uh, PlayStation. On Wi-Fi down there. All right. So um, I got a. I need some meat so I can cook. 
But it, like, wh where else are there like pots besides that old dude's house? Cause you can't, you can't cook in the, uh, can you cook over the fire pits? I don't remember. No, not wired, uh, internet. It's two plugs with ethernet cable holes, one goes in the room with another router. Oh, I gotcha. They make like surge protectors to have those on them too. I I actually have one right here that that, uh, that I have mostly everything hooked up to. It's like right here to the right of me. It's just a surge protector with a bunch of uh, Ethernet ports. You hook like the main one into it, and then you got like four new ones there, like a switch. Whatever, Apple. Oh, really? That's good, man. That's cool. You got fast internet at home then, huh? Dude, I love my internet, dude. in here. <laughs> Did that be funny? Could be much more stable. You think so? Do you have good internet? I can't tell because my setup is so scuffed. Damn. Oh, your phone and everything loads up? That's cool, man. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when this game came out, my, uh, I remember my friend, he, uh, he came over, him and his girlfriend came over, and, uh, I, th I think my, my wife was playing, uh, this on, on, well, yeah, handheld, and they're like, he was like, oh shit, Vanessa playing Zelda? And I was like, yup. Yeah. He's like, why don't you just run straight over there and, uh, invite Ganon? And she's like, what? He's like, yeah, you could go straight over there and, uh, and, and, and fight the bad guy right off the bat. She's, and I was and I was like, what? He's like, nah, uh And he's like, yeah. He's like, you'll get your shit pushed in, but you can do it. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Shanks, when you go, uh, when you gonna stream again? I missed your loud ass PS4. <laughs> I'm gonna have four. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Damn. There's somebody out front? What's going on? Oh, it was Amazon. Not for us. We didn't order anything. We ordered nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got, uh, I got gigabit internet, and I kept, like, checking up on the, uh, on the speeds and shit of it, right? And my speeds were, like, slow, and I was like, what the fuck, man? Like, I'm not paying, like, I'm not paying out the ass here for my internet. I think I pay, like, 115 a month or something like that. So I'm not, like, I'm not, like, paying a shitload here. But, yeah, I told him, I was like, hey, I was like, I'm not getting nowhere close to, uh, you know, to gigabit speeds. I'm getting, like, maybe, like, 100 down. Upload's always been pretty decent, but, um, yeah, I was just like, what the fuck? So they sent a technician over, and, uh, he was kind of like, uh, you know, like, 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 what's the problem? And I was like, yo, dude, like, this shit, this shit here, man. 
Oh yeah. See, so, so you have to do it over a pot. Damn. So I, I guess I'm, I'm gonna have to run all the way over to that guy's house and make this. Been dropping uh, to like 12 FPS as soon as an enemy is. Oh damn, dude, that sucks, man. I bet horse be getting all mad at you too, huh? Calling you names and shit because you're not helping them when the enemies pop up. Just let my dad adopt you and limited internet uh, and data forever. Damn. Oh, did he work for like one of those companies, dude? Yeah, so do I, dude. I remember we used to play games all the time. I don't remember the last time I played games with him. It's been months. But you know who gets to play games with him like every day? Anakin. He's so lucky. I'm like jealous of him. So jealous of Anakin. Like, damn. I wish I could play with horse. He only wants to play with Anakin, though. Yeah, you're lucky, man. You're blessed. You're hashtag blessed. Next time you, uh, next time you talk to him, dude, tell him we all say what's up, man. And then, you know, we, we, we miss him. Tell, tell him that for us. <laughs> all right. So we're going to get six minutes of, uh, cold resistance. So I'm about to make another one. Another six minute one. Low level cold resistance. Okay. So we got 12 minutes. That's, uh, I, I think that's more than what we need. I might just load up that, uh, that six minute one and then uh, run in there. Tell him, uh, for me twice. Like, start with me, then go roll. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him for me trice. But dude, they uh, made the worst choice for that not loaded in default textures for the characters because they're super see-through with this some animated blue splotches. Dude, you know what's really bad, man? It's Call of Duty like that. I, like... I had uh, I had Call of Duty on my like my Xbox One, and I would bring it to work, and like the the internet at work has been like getting worse and worse and worse, and um, yeah, whenever I loaded Call of Duty up over there, my shit was like, dude, <laughs> if I loaded Call of Duty up over there, they they straight up look like fucking PS One graphics. It was like pretty fucking insane how bad it looked. Can I, uh, can I ride that? Oh, damn. No, I guess not. He froze. <laughs> damn. When was the last time I fucking saved? Oh, no. thirsty for horsey <laughs> so I've had to do PvP uh, against fucking invisible enemies I have to use their health bars and their bullets oh damn okay so that's not gonna work I wonder if I'm even going to be able to get over there from this side. I don't think I am. Alright, man. Shit. Get her. 
there's no way I'm crossing that. Maybe I am gonna need the full 12 minutes. Oh, you fuck. This bridge not even be like fully intact. There is a. I, I thought there was a roll button. Is it there? That's when you're locked in on somebody. You can, uh, you can roll. That's right. All right. So, no, no, no. We want this here, and we want this here, and uh, eh. oh shit, no. So I got my uh <laughs> I got my jump button uh mixed up. <laughs> oh shit. I am actually gonna hear the bit. I wonder if I still have, uh, I installed Call of Duty, was it earlier this week, uh, Cold War? So you know what, I'm gonna play some Call of Duty, and I never even did. Yeah, I keep, like, deleting, like, uninstalling, like, reinstalling other games, and then, like, oh, shit, I have to, like, uninstall this game now, even though I... I just installed it and never even touched it. But again, like, my internet's pretty fast, so I could, like, download shit uh, fairly quick. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing that so much. Well, yeah, but I, I never, uh, I never, I never finished my story. So a technician uh, came by and he was like, "What's the problem?" I'm like, "Yo, dude, like, uh, you know, I'm paying for gigabit internet over here, and I'm barely fucking." Pushing, uh, pushing 100. And he's like, oh, that's not good. And I'm like, yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying, man. So he ended up, uh, he ended up looking at, he ended up looking at it, and, uh, it was my old ass, like, Ethernet cords. I was, like, on cat, like, two or three whatever and uh he was just like hey man like your ethernet cords are old like you need to uh you need to like really like upgrade like all of these and i was like shit like i didn't uh and he showed me i was like dude i never even really paid attention to that shit never did and as soon as he told me that i bought like a five pack five six pack on amazon for like i think like 15 10 15 bucks something like that Hooked those up. Oh my god. My speeds shot up. I was like, unbelievable. These fucking Ethernet cords, man. Which makes sense. They're old. You know, and like my, my internet's been getting, uh, you know, bumped up and this and that. So that's, that's pretty much my fault. You need like a 10 terabyte external, uh, <laughs> 10 terabyte external solid state drive. Dude, that would be, I don't know how, dude, I don't even know how much money that would be, but it would be fucking expensive as hell. Okay. 39 megabytes downloaded, 10 up, damn. You got that upload speed though. Little 
teardrop. Alrighty. You don't uh, you don't play Horizon anymore, uh, right, Etiquette? Because of your because uh, of Game Pass. Can I do this from down here? I've been thinking about like uh, re-downloading that, but <laughs> I have it. <laughs> I know, I know. If I do, I'm probably not gonna uh, play it. You play uh, a set of Corsa now. Oh, I gotcha. And at least you own it, right? You don't have to worry about it ever uh, expiring. now. Oh! You got like a mod track for a set of courses for that uh, Midnight Club Street Racing shit, you know? Oh shit, nice! So does it handle like an arcade uh, racer, like Midnight Club, or is it still like more like a sim? <laughs> huh. But first, hmm. imagine an X on your map with the four shrines at the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? With two lines connecting the shrines will cross. There I will be waiting. Dang, he just dipped out. He said, peace. And now I'm freezing my little balls off. say he said two lines where two of the shrines intersect like right over here just a track in cars the track has uh the track is 102 miles of recreated uh, japanese exp damn dude nice yeah see dude i'm more of a uh like arcadey arcade racing fan than i am you know, with the simulated stuff. 
You know, I'm gonna fucking take a corner at fucking 500 miles an hour and fucking do it. In a sim, you do that shit, man, you're fucking dead. <laughs> That's why I never got into, st to like, uh, like, th those sim racers. That's why I was, like, really on the fence about, uh, Forza. But then I remember, uh, Horace mentioned that, uh, they're kind of, like, the, the Horizon ones are, like, the arcade -y kind of, uh, of racing games. Yeah, I wonder... Where's this dude at? Where's he at, huh? Where's he at? Probably the Temple of Time, maybe? Shrine of Resurrection. In a place centered amid the four shrines before... Oh, it's the center of the four shrines. Okay. So we have one shrine here. So yeah, it's going to be like right here. I think it's going to be the Temple of Time. Pretty much. So let's go down there so we can see what's up. I set the time to like midnight, turn on the rain, put some beats on, just chill driving down the road at two of my day. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. So therapeutic, just alone, doing not even racing. Yeah. Yeah, I used to play a lot of racing games back in the day. Like the Need for Speeds were my shit. Like I love, like, uh, I think I started playing like, uh, I think there was a need for speed before Underground. But uh, mainly need for speed Underground, like 1 and 2. I played the shit out of those games. Like, I pumped so much time into those games. It's like crazy. And then I think uh, Most Wanted came out after that on the 360. And I believe, need for, I, I, I believe Most Wanted was the... Uh, was the first Need for Speed on the, the 360. But, again, I played the shit out of that, too. And, and of course, like, the Midnight Clubs, Midnight Club uh, 1, 2, and 3. Um, I, I think I have, like, the... I have Midnight Club 3, the dub edition. I have that on my, uh, on my Vita. And I play it randomly. I even play... I, I, I played Midnight Club once on uh on stream too i meant to keep up with it and i uh and i didn't but yeah i downloaded it it was on sale for like five bucks or something it's like how can i say no need for speed underground 2 yeah man need for speed underground 2 was the shit dude the customization that you were able to do on uh on those games was was so fun dude you played Carbon? Did I ever play Carbon? I want to say I did, but I can't remember anything, uh, anything on it, to be honest. Oh, yeah, dude. Def Jam was the shit. I love Def Jam. That's another one I think I have handheld on my, uh, I think I have that, like, on my PSP. I, I, I think there was a handheld version of that that I played, but yeah, dude, Def Jam was the shit. Here we go. Look at his ass. The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Hmm. Here I am. Get up here quickly. What are other racing games that I played besides Need for Speed? I want to say those were those are like really the only ones on those, but I used to play like Cruising USA all the time um, at like the arcade, and they even had a really good one uh, on the Nintendo 64. I used to play a lot. I used to love Cruising USA. 
I'm gonna have to buy it again. Thank, uh, thank God for uh, backwards compatibility. Hell yeah, dude. You know, like PlayStation said that there's no need for that, and people don't play old <laughs> games, so they're well done, they would Max. like never add it or some shit like that. Like what? Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Boss Faramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <laughs> the Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Let's hear it, dude. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. You talk about that Corsa game, long Anakin? Before we discovered several ancient relics With the Batmobile? made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics. The Divine Beasts were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found oh, for the Garden. Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they me. who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and task them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning. And he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Damn. Yeah, man. The <laughs> he appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely wounded and elapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link. 
You are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Damn. That princess was my own daughter. What? My dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That was you. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then, you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the Dueling Peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. The Dueling Peaks. Hmm. Ah, damn. I just want to watch that. Test Drive Unlimited coming this year. I don't know if I've ever played any of those. Because there is other ones, right? What would you do if the if you lifted his hood off and it was actually Gerald Fogel? <laughs> what the fuck? Who's Jared Fogel? Is that the fucking subway guy? The secret optional boss? No, that was for Need for Speed. That's Nostopolis. Zelda, not that hot, not gonna lie. Link is way thicker. <laughs> You little freak! Completed. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliff surrounding this area. And I think that's hmm. it. I told you everything I can. You must save Harula. Damn, he gone. I'm gonna go stand in his fart. We got here. Soldier's bow. Seek out the impa. Alright, I wanna get some new uh like some new uh like armor and shit. Uh Rony, do you remember where, where to go to get some new shit? Cause I don't remember. That's behind us. Yeah, it's over there. So, I guess we can, uh... Yep. What? I think my niece has some uh, some amiibos. I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to hit her up because she was actually like talking to me about some of them. Uh, we were like FaceTiming uh, like last weekend or whatever, and I was like, "Oh, you got?" I was like, "You got some collectibles over there? What you got?" And she was like, "Oh no!" She's like, "Those are my amiibos," and, and, and they were like Zelda ones too. I'll hit her up here in a bit. I, I was planning on going over to my brother's house um, later too, so. 
I just checked his location right now, though. He's not even home yet. <laughs> that dude's been out since like seven o'clock this morning. Cause I was gonna like, I don't think he's been home. Cause, cause when I dropped my uh, my wife off at work, I was gonna go hang out with him. Cause he usually wakes up pretty early. And uh, yeah, that dude was out. I was like, shit. <laughs> There's a soldier said at Hatino Village that's pretty solid when upgraded. Alright. Oh shit, it's Geo Dude! Yeah, right. I ain't fucking with that dude. <laughs> Dude, I have never seen that before. Dude, what the hell was that? I've never seen those things fly flying around like that. Is that something that was like newly updated in the game or something? Like, I don't even remember that. Like I was saying earlier, I haven't played this game in, uh, I haven't played this game in a few years. I think I, I don't think I've played since, like, the first DLC for this came out. Oh, you know what, I kind of want to go do that, uh, that shrine over there. You know what? One thing at a time. Let's go to the village over here and at least get that shit unlocked. There's a t there's a there's a viewpoint there. We grab that. If my stamina is up to par. I gave away my Switch before I got to play any other uh, games in Zelda or Pokemon. Oh yeah, damn. So d did you like give it to her like straight up or is she kind of like borrowing it? depend on my switch too much to ever give to ever give it away because I play the shit out of it when I'm at work I got the uh, I got the the family plan you know on uh, uh, for, for the Nintendo online shit and it's, it's really just me and my uh, 
It's me, my wife, and my friend's uh, girlfriend. They're on it, and uh, I was asking him the other day, because uh, like he has a solo one that he's been waiting uh, to expire, so that he could hop on the family plan, you know, with me or whatever, or on my family plan. And I and I asked him if, uh, you know, I was like, "Yo, man, like, is your shit expired yet? Like, you want to hop on?" Because I wanted to see if he wanted to go have these with me on the uh, on the premium family plan, because I want to like play the Nintendo 64 games. But I also don't want to drop 60 some odd dollars on this shit, you know, uh, whatever on it, by myself. What the hell? Oh, I didn't realize that's what that was. But he said, he said that they don't even like really use their switches anymore. It's like, damn, sad day. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, I was visiting, I had it in my pocket, and I forgot it was her birthday. And she was looking at it, I went online for 300 bucks, so I just whipped it out and gave it to her. At least I beat both the games. Yeah, dude, shit. That was nice of you, though, man. That's like, like, uh, my brother... My brother bought me my Series X. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> you know? He had been bugging me about getting one. And, uh, you know, at the time, I wasn't uh, I, I wasn't working uh, too much. You know, I was just, like, working on the weekends. And uh, his uh, his wife works at a store that they get those, uh, that they get, you know, the Xboxes and stuff in. And, oh, shit. And he was like, hey, man, you know, they got the Series Xs. You know, at, at her store, do you, you want her to hold one for you? I was like, nah, dude. Like, I don't have like I don't have money for that right now, man. Like, I I I can't like I, I can't afford it. You know, I, I got no money for that. And then he's like, look, he's like, do you want it or not? And I was like, dude, no. Like, I don't like, I don't have money for it. He's like, that's not what I'm asking. He's like, do you want it or not? I was like, of course I want uh, you know the Series X. And then he just hung up on me. I was like, what the fuck? And then he showed up at my job and my and my niece hopped out and she's like, here you go. And she just like hands me the box. I'm like, dude, what the fuck, man? And I just looked at him. He's like, hey, I ain't buying you shit for your birthday, Christmas, nothing for the next four fucking years, all right? And I was like, what the fuck, man? This is my little brother too, you know? Like, what the fuck? Are you crazy bastard? Same when I bought my Series X, I gave my PS4 to my older brother since he had been uh, bugging me about it for months. Yeah. Yeah, when my my, my brother, uh, he he has two Series Xs at home. He's got one for him and one for my uh, one for my nephew. And uh, I was like, yo, dude, what are you going to do with your uh, with your Series S? And he's like, what? He's like, why? He's like, he's like, do you want it? And I was like, yeah. Dude. I was like, I would love to have another Xbox, like one for downstairs. You know, in the living room, because I had my my other one uh, up here, you know, so I could stream, you know, uh, games uh, from it. Um, but uh, yeah, he's like shit. He's like, if you want it here, and he, he gave me it. He gave it to me, so I have that one uh, hooked up downstairs. Yeah, dude, I don't know what I'm gonna get him for his uh, for his birthday. I got him this cool like. Uh, it was like, uh, it's a it, it, it's a Mexican death whistle. He's already got a PS Five, dude. He's got he's got two of them. <laughs> he's got one for himself and, and, and one for my uh, one for my nephew. Yeah, dude, I got him this really, uh, dude, like, and, and it wasn't like a, uh, it, it wasn't, uh, a thing where, like, I just, like, viewed one of them and was like, okay, like, I'll just get him this one. 
dude, I like spent some time like researching them and trying to figure out, um, you know, which which one to get him. Isn't there an easier way? No, nah, you know what? There's too much. I'm just gonna go down. The, I'm just gonna go over here. Um, I really like researched the fuck out of it to uh, to get him like 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 a really like good one or whatever. Dude, they dude. This one sounds like really fucking nasty, man. Like it's really fucking scary. I uh, I I had it with me uh, in my car because I was at a uh, stop by after working uh, uh, one day a few months back for uh, for Christmas. Um, but yeah, I had it in my car and I was gonna stop by after work and give it to him. But dude, I was so like. Uh, interested in like hearing what it sounded like that like I went to my car and I like took it out of his box and dude I like emptied my lungs in this thing and it sounded gross man like it, dude it was so fucking weird sounding like I was like what the fuck but I, I brought it to him and he's like he's like dude what the fuck he's like this is sick as fuck man and I was like, yeah, dude, like, like you know, like, that's supposed to be, like, a really good one. You know, this and that. And then, like, he went to blow it, like, like there in the house. Like, dude, stop, 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 stop. He's like, what? I was like, dude, don't fucking do that shit. Uh, don't do that in here, man. Like, like you need to, uh, you need to take that outside and, <laughs> and do it outside, man. Like, you can't, you can't do that here. Uh, like, it's, it's really, uh, it's really loud. He's like, he's like, is it that bad? I was like, dude, it's, it's, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty loud, man. Like, like, nah. So he took it outside and he just did. I was like, damn, it was loud. <laughs> oh man, I got no, uh, no arrows. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> Come on, let's dance. Dude, that was a good one too. Imagine being in the jungle and 100 Aztecs surround your village in the middle of the night blowing up before raiding your village. Dude, I know, man. Yeah. Dude, they have some really, uh, they got some really cool ones on Itzy, dude. But, like, uh, by the time, like, I figured out, because I wanted to get him something cool for, uh, you know, for Christmas. And by the time I, like, settled, uh, by the time I settled on, uh, on getting that, um, it was already like like I needed it now type of thing, so I had to get like fast shipping. But I, uh, they they got some really cool ones on Ipsy. Ipsy had some really nice ones. I don't know if uh, I don't know if like Ipsy is like a worldwide thing. I don't know if you have Ipsy over there. <laughs> Go to like the rooftop of, of like your building and just fucking. Like I said, dude, just breathe in and just empty your lungs into that motherfucker and then run downstairs. And then watch the cops come. We heard a woman screaming over here. Use the restroom. 
I'll probably grab a beer now since I already drank. I drank my, almost my entire glass here of water. Alright, uh, be right back. Blue Moon, Ice Cold, mm, mm, mm. dude, Thumb Monkey been here, dude. She been chilling. I like to think that like she has me up on like her TV, right? And she's like on the couch, all like laid back with a martini in her hand. Her cats are like running around and shit, and she's like playing with them with her foot. You know, she's leaning back in her couch. Yeah, that's what I like to think. <clears throat> hey! You yelling at me? Hey! Welcome to Dueling Peak Stable. What do you think of the place? Pretty nice, yeah? Uh, it might be hard to imagine now, but this place was nearly destroyed about 100 years ago. However, thanks to the blessings of the Dueling Peaks, everything is full of life again. Even the wild horses are back. There's a lot of energy in this place. So where are you heading? Both Kakariko uh, Ka Village and Hatino Village are nearby. Oh. Kakariko Village is the village where the Shika clan lives. Ah. It's said that some time ago they had advanced techniques that were more powerful than anything anyone had seen. But that power put them at odds with the king at the time, and they were scattered across the land. Anyway, if you leave here and follow the road straight to the north, you'll find a big bridge. Cross that and keep following the path, and you'll come to the Kakariko Village Gate. Leave it to Renza to tell you about the roads around this uh, around this area. 
Swap that martini for uh for rum. And yeah. Go back to Dude, what the fuck? No, 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 no. You, you complete me. Damn, Tim Tam coming in clutch. Dude, thank you, man. What would I do without you? Go back to ripping off mob dealers? No, no. Dude, Timmy, crazy, no. man. No, you. You complete me. <laughs> Dude, thank you, man. Shit. What would I do without you? Go back to ripping off mob dealers? No, no. What's that? No. No, you. I was... I was I had just like leaned leaned in to like start reading what uh what uh what, what Lovebird had said about the uh the martini and then and then my chat just like started scrolling all the way up. It's like, whoa, what just happened? No. No, you you come on. Dude, for real, Joey shit. He just came in here flexing. What would I do without you? Go back to ripping off my Oh shit. No. T Timmy remembered. I didn't even say anything. You complete me. I didn't say anything. I mean, I told Lisa like a couple of hours ago, but she was the only one here. <laughs> but thank you, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, we were just talking about horse a little while ago, too. Ah. Uh, Tino Village is a village on the edge of Hyrule. It was largely unaffected by the events of the Great Calamity, so the people there are pretty mm. easy going. What are you up to, Timmy? Joey, what you guys up to? Hold on. Let's see here. I hear they even have a research center, but folks tend to avoid the weird scientist who lives there. Anyway, head north from here until you reach a fork in the road, and then go east and just follow the road. It's a little far if you walk it, but with a horse, you should get there in under a day. Leave it to Renzo to tell you about the roads around this area. All right, goodbye, man. Yeah, tomorrow's my birthday, yeah. February 20th. Uh, everything looks just as it was. Uh, uh, so, looking for example, a lot of monsters come out at night, so be careful when the sun sets. All right. Mm. So, Roni said Patino Village. Let's go to. Uh, let's go to Kakarot Village first. <laughs> dude, I am one year closer to death, dude. Like Michael Jordan. Yup. <laughs> I need some arrows. Yeah, I'm just chilling today. I've been, uh... Mostly like relaxing. It fucking sucks. I got these, uh, I got these bulbs that like, uh, you could like change colors on. And, uh, I was all excited. I, I bought them yesterday, but I didn't have enough time, um, to like, uh, to get them like hooked up in my, uh, in my lamp over here. And, uh, so this morning I was like doing some shit. Like, oh shit, I got, I got those bulbs I could, uh, I could put in upstairs, make my room all blue. So I ran upstairs and I like took the uh, the bulbs out of the uh, the lamp to put the the two new ones in, and they're fucking different type of bulbs. It's like what the fuck? I didn't even know that like those bulbs came in like two different uh, like two different forms. The like the the part that uh, that you put in and screws in. These ones are like really uh, like tiny compared to like the bigger circle ones that screw in. It's weird. <laughs> well, dude, I, I still have the, uh, I still have the, my, my original save is still on my wife's, um, switch. So I, I could always go back, but, dude, I forgot, like, a lot of the story, too, man, like, 
like j just like just like playing the beginning here. I, for I forgot like just, like so much is like coming back to me. Like oh shit, like I forgot all about this, or like I don't even remember this part. But it's all good, dude. It's it's like fun uh, replaying it. I don't even remember what this thing is. So young. <laughs> I've only got back to the part where you meet the uh, water folks. Took me forever to remember how to navigate. Yeah, dude, that's another thing. Like pressing like up on the D-pad, right on the D-pad, left on the D-pad, down on the D-pad, bringing up all these different things. Dude, I forgot all that shit, man. The tutorial was just like reteaching me everything. There was nothing uh, to do at work on Thursday, so my boss said, "Let's go. We're uh, we're watching movies. You're watching movies at work." Doctor Sleep. <laughs> I'm a uh, uh, tonight. We're gonna watch uh, that that new Scream movie. And uh, the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, you gotta switch that shit up real quick. It's been 100 years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm his too, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. I think they're still there on the other side of those rocks. I can't use my powers without them. So please, please get my maracas back from them. All right, my guy, I'm gonna go kill them. Yo, no, Dr. Sleep was trash. <laughs> Dude, I kinda liked it, man. That's the, uh, that's the Shining uh, sequel, right? Dr. Sleep? No, those aren't, dude, nah. I could put them on Plex for you though if you want. Yo, what up guys? Oh shit! Oh shit. Oh no! Did I just kill myself? <laughs> I thought I could get away with it. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Idiota. Damn. <clears throat> yeah, dude, uh Obviously I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it on until I'm done uh streaming, but if you don't see it like if you don't hear me tell you if I don't tell you that I that I put it up there, uh like within an hour after me streaming, remind me. Cause, Cause I don't even think my uh that PC's not on because I rearranged my room. So it's, it's, it's not even on right now. Oh, what the fuck? Let me, uh, let's see here. Stand there and stare at me. I love it. Even the marrows. Cool, 
actually with drugs, what kind of, what kind of drugs they'll send me some. <laughs> Pressing down on the uh, on the left thumbstick to run. That's why you guys will see me do like solve the sudden crouch. I got you, dude. sounds. like so so when you get a horse if i remember right you can't call that shit back right like wherever you leave it is where it like stays so if i were like hop off of it right here and then teleport somewhere else i would have to come all the way the fuck back over here to get it wouldn't i or am i wrong in thinking that or am i wrong in saying that Dead game. <laughs> yeah, let's get the DLC and call the motorcycle. Is is that real? Certain range only if you leave it out, but you can travel to any stable to pull. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Like fucking Witcher, uh, 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 Ghost of Tsushima. Red Dead Redemption. You 
you there? Who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? I only know that because I too had the same question and uh, binged it. Ah, Mary Kate and Ashley's horse stuff. <laughs> A Sheikah Slate. But that would mean you are... No, it's not possible. Can it be? Oh. Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. Yeah, boy. A man! I'm all man, baby. Could you be the hero my grandfather told me about? What was his name? Le Link? Um. Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is. Pei? My name is Peya. Look at the way he's standing there, too. Fucking hands on his fucking belt. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been w waiting your return ever since I was little. Please hurry inside. Word. So, you're finally awake. Yeah, dude, he was fucking posing. It has been quite a long time, Link. I could see your teeth are all much fucked up. Older now, but you remember me, don't you? Oh, will something happen if I'm naked? Huh? Oh man, I was stretching. It is I, Courageous One, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. Oh. So you have lost your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may... That may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. <clears throat> the hot coffee secret scene. <laughs> I remember that shit in GTA. <laughs> a hundred years ago, oh. yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred, or, does that say sacred slumber? And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I've been waiting one hundred years to deliver the princess's message. Oh. However... Those words, those words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, oh. you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burn may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. All right, lady. You start peeing while maintaining perfect eye contact with her. <laughs> A little bit of drool coming out. fucking turn that sound off for the fucking shrines. That shit is annoying. Oh, what? Look to the sky. Look to the night sky at these locations and find the red shooting stars. The southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge. The eastern sky from the skull's eye. What the hell? Xenoblade. Dude, I guess so, man. My quest is right here. Should I fucking load it up and see how it looks? Oh, 
you still telling me to go up there? There's this fucking fly that's been in the house, like, for I don't know how long, and it's flying, like, right here. Like, I don't even know how the fuck it's upstairs. Last I saw it, it was in my, uh, it was in my wife's room. And I, I saw it there when I let the dogs out, and, like, I immediately, like, closed it. So when it comes to the rest of the house, and here it is, fucking flying around. It keeps like getting close to like my fucking beard. Then like, man, you better stay off the fucking mouthpiece of this shit. Little bitches. seed from one of the forest children. If you give just one seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Right here. Take it. Boom shakalaka. So where's this uh, Latino village at? I want to try to get that uh, the armor that uh, Roni was talking about. This dude was telling me. I'll, I'll go back and talk to him. <laughs> he was to never speak of it. He'll never get a dance like that again. I'll tell you that right fucking now. that it was like like a chest or something I could open. Do I got zero money? <laughs> How do you make money in this shit again? I 
how, how are you supposed to do this? I know I could go back and talk to that guy. He'll tell me, but... Let's, for, let's go for the grayish blue one over here. If you have the uh, the uh, the Ipana, uh amiibo, that's how you get Ipana in this game too, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I remember that. Horse mine now? Why was that so easy? system oh. then allow me to explain take a while for wild horses to get used to being ridden. They may change directions or slow down on their own until you earn their trust and respect. If your horse disobeys your direction, you'll want to gently direct it, or redirect it and then calm it. If you uh, continue interacting that way, your horse will naturally begin to trust you and become more obedient. Oh. That's all I can tell you about the subject, stranger. Hi. Welcome to our stable. If you come with a wild horse, you can register it with us. Da -da -da. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. I'm starting to get hungry. How long have I been streaming? Three hours and two minutes. I'm gonna go down and get the string cheese. Twenty rupees. Sure. <sighs> Damn. Fifteen minutes away, <laughs> dude. Ah, how do you sell shit? Where do you sell shit? But you can call me actually let's just stick with beetle but even if you get my face you can remember him being by my beetle shaped backpack yeah, yeah. despite those dangerous times you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs I stock many special bugs and must have items for travelers and I always charge a fair price or my name's not beetle 
Uh, also buy all sorts of things. If you're in need of rupees, gemstones in particular, fetch a high price. How can I help you? Uh, look what I've got. Oh. Let's see here. How about these worn trousers here? Take it. Some money. <laughs> IRL eating stream. <laughs> you don't want to see me, dude. I eat like fucking like like I'm fucking Kirby, dude. Hey, that's how I eat. I just <laughs> and I'm done. That's all I wanted. Hmm. Ah. Hey. All right. I want to see y'all devour food, mukbang. <laughs> all right. I'll be. Uh, I'll be RB. All right. I'm gonna go grab some string cheese.
sorry about that. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Register the horse. Philly cheesesteak is the best thing on the planet. Dude, I, I've only had like a Philly oh. cheesesteak like one time. And it wasn't even like anything like official. Uh, let's see here. We charge you to the house of our conference. I said, yeah, I think those are your local we made Saturday for your horses. This is okay, yes. Fits in your name for your horse. Shit, man. Fucking name is something. What do you guys want to name this? What do you, what, what do you think? I'm shit at making up names. It'll probably be a throwaway horse. I mean, I would assume. Just go with Cinema, huh? Do, do, do. Oh shit. Ah. We're on the same wavelength. <laughs> mm. Alright, down on the D pad. Let's see here. Uh but your horse isn't magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away if you do do keep that in mind. So how do I get in there? Dumbass. I guess I didn't press that fast. <laughs> Ate it right on the spikes. teleport out like boom boom To 
check and see what's up here. Nathan. So I gotta grab that ball. Make that from here? Nope. Rupees chest. Uh, okay, this one right here. This chest. I, I might have read that late. Okay. That's not what I want. Wait, is that what I wanted? the wrong the wrong one Can't fucking be up there and see it. Shit, <laughs> not fast enough. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> 
right here oh I got you I got you I got you damn I would have kept doing it too like an idiot There was some of these where, like, because, uh, dude, I played the majority of this game um, at work, right? And, uh, um, I remember I did, like, I remember one day at work, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do, like, a shitload of these shrines, like, today. And, like, I went out and I found, like, a bunch of the shrines. And uh, I was sitting there, like, trying to do them, you know, and all that. And, uh, dude, I remember there were so many that I had to, like, look up to see, like, what I was supposed to do. And I felt like a fucking idiot when I, like, read it. Like, just the one part that I was stuck on and then I was able to, like, you know, get it. I was like, oh, my God, dude, I can't believe that fucked me up right there, man. With, uh, oh, with the motion controls? I have that shit turned off. I was talking to, uh, to Echo about that. He was talking about the, uh, the motion controls, I think, in, uh, in Pokemon, Pokemon Legends. He was talking about them. I was like, dude, I was like, I was like, turn them off, man. I was like, I remember I had to deal with that in, uh, I think it was this game. With the arrows and shit like that. So, let's see here. Oh, do you? Damn. There was some, uh, the, the motion controls in Luigi's Mansion really fucked me up, man. Like, I was just like, dude, I, I, I don't know what it was, but I could not get into it. And, and I, I, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna lie here. I actually had to have my, uh, my wife actually did some of them for me because she had already like beat the game. And I was like, how the hell did you do this? You know, and she's like, oh, like here. You know, I was like, fuck, man. Like I just like I don't, I don't know what is wrong with me with these, uh, with these motion sensing, uh, the motion controls. Like I can't do them. <laughs> well, even even PlayStation was doing it too, so you know, to a certain extent. I remember having to do like that uh, that shit where you like, uh, where you like walk over like some of those logs and like uncharted. That really fucked me up at first. And even like, uh, well. I would say uh, Until Dawn was pretty fun. The motion sensors that they had, those were pretty fun. Yeah, I never really messed with the Kinect too much. I remember my uh, my friend, I, I, I lived with him for a couple of years. He had a, he had like a Harry Potter game uh, on the Kinect that was, uh, dude, it was weird, but it was still like kind of fun. You know what I mean? I don't think I can get up there yet. You get me dead over here. Let's go.
played Fable 4, that's strictly connect, that shit sucks. Yo, what's up, Pablo? How you doing, man? I guess I should just talk to her then, huh? Can I, uh... I can't teleport over here, right? Damn, that kind of sucks. Where I died, rip. Oh, is it still hot over there? Shit. Yeah, <laughs> he in the southern hemisphere, so it's summertime for him. temple there or shrine let's go do it let's do it up yeah you know it's, it's always like the the thing where like you know with heat is that like it's hard to cool down you know but when it's cold you know at least you can like you know do something about it you know and uh you know warm yourself up Yeah, I don't like the heat either, man. We have summer for a maximum of two months. The rest of the year is dark, rainy, and uh, snowy. We'll continue to snow up to late March. Damn. Yeah, dude, it, uh, it's pretty, like, here, it, it's kind of like, uh, like, mid-September or so to, like, April. Really, like, into, like, mid-May. It's, like, kind of like gloomy and like it's raining a lot we get like months of just like non-stop rain e e even if it like it's not all like heavy like downpour and stuff you know but it'll be like little like misty rain or like drizzle and then it'll be like regular rain back and forth heavy rain let's go see what's up in here I love the heat. Women walk around with skirts and cool drink and just sunbathing. <laughs> you get burnt bad, damn, dude. I don't get I don't get really like uh, burnt all that bad. Get uh, burnt or tan, you're pale as fuck, yeah. Yeah, I just get like darker. Ooh, chocolate. Damn. Was there? Is there anything over there? I don't think there is. 
Is there, there's not a chest in every shrine, is there? That would be to have that on. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see it up there. How the hell am I supposed to get that? Jedi fucking powers is linked to it. <laughs> Dude, for real? Damn. Dude, the controls are like backwards and shit from what I'm used to. Dude, that is not working out. A wizard link? What the hell is that? Oh, you're a wizard link. <laughs> they said use. right over it. Game, that's why I never watched it. Oh, I got it. I got it. So, did you ever get a switch or, uh, or not? Nah? Yeah, I think this was the first, uh, this was the first game I bought on the Switch was uh, Zelda. I wasn't fucking around. 
Yeah, dude, I can't get this shit. I don't know. So this is it, right? Doing this. Putting it down. Alright, we're gonna push it away. Alright, we're gonna bring it in. It goes right over. about to get a switch light but uh shit's still kind of expensive just yeah there's a lot of other good games on it though man i play my switch pretty regularly yeah i don't know you play pokemon not much else Oh shit, Roni. I already bounced. I mean, I could always run through it again. I don't think it should be that hard. Take the barrel and put it at the bottom of the uh, on the platform behind you that will raise this platform. Okay, let me t let me test it out. I'll go I'll go back in. <laughs> it's not that much trouble. I mean, we, we came up here pretty easily. All right, so what are you saying uh, we, we're doing? Could I, could I hang glide down? No, no I can't hang glide down. That scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Dude, I got scared, man. Dude, thank you. Got the climber's bandana. Oh, shit, that scared me. Dude, that was good thinking. Yeah, I can't grab it from here, huh? Oh, shit. Nah, man. 
They're always use. Oh shit. Open. <laughs> I think in my uh, in my other playthrough, I think I had the whole uh, the whole outfit. I could be wrong, but I, I think I do have the whole outfit, the, the whole climber's outfit. Okay, so which way were we going? This way, right? Yeah, no, I, I don't remember if I, I, like, how much of it I upgraded, but I know I did upgrade some of it. I actually forgot all about the upgrading until you mentioned it earlier. man but there's those spots dude like uh there's that uh remember there's that one tower where you have to have like a shitload of stamina to get to the top that one was annoying i remember i kept like trying like different things to get up there and it's like all right all right i'm not gonna be able to do this i get it Did you ever get the Master Sword? I never got the Master Sword in my uh, uh, other playthrough. I, I I remember you had to like go through like a uh, a maze or something like that to get it. Yeah, that's what I had heard. I only, uh, w one of my IRL friends uh, did it, and he was like, he was kind of like explaining it to me, and he was just like, dude, he's like, he, he was like, it's like, it sounds hard, me telling you right now, but like, I could walk you through it, and it's like, it'll be like really easy. I was like, yeah, and he's like, yeah, dude, like, you can get through it pretty easy. I was like, I don't know, man, I don't know. But I think I had to like, uh, that's when you have to like recycle like some of your abilities or like your, your, your upgrade points or some shit like that. Your hearts, yeah, like your hearts and stamina. I think you had to like, what did, what did he say? He said to like take some of like my life away and get more stamina or something like that. I, I, I can't remember what it was. Whoa. Man, he just walked away laughing. I'm gonna be a goat in my next life, and I'm gonna do that to somebody. Okay, 14 hearts, okay. Yeah, then, then, then he must have told me to get rid of like all my stamina and put it all into the hearts or something like that. That must have been it.
ain't hitting me again. That's for damn sure. Licking your arm. <laughs> Paco be doing that shit too. It's funny because Paco will like stretch up on me and like start like licking my nose, or he'll like lick my like uh, like my earlobes and shit. And then this motherfucker starts like biting my uh, biting my nose, or he'll like he'll bite my like nibble on my earlobe. Like, dude, what are you doing? When he bites my nose, that shit kind of hurts sometimes. <laughs> like, I don't know, like I. I He's not like trying to hurt me or, or you know or anything like that, but he's just doing it. He ends up like biting down. Like, oh what the fuck? Yeah. What's <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. a hero? Always a hero. Oh. I will recount for you all that has happened. I let the him lick my nose if his breath didn't stink. <laughs> is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Mm -mm -mm. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known the as beast. the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. Bum, 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 bum. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon.
preparation for Fort Vavro. Get it? We, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years oh. prior. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that great mistake again, the princess left you with these words. Oh. Uh, let me, uh, do you know the Zelda timeline? Have you played all of them? I have not played all of them, dude. I've played a lot of them, but I haven't played all of them. On the first day, a big man sat down by a rock. On the second day, a little man joined them. <laughs> On the third day, the big man smashed the little man with a big book into a red paste. Dude, the... Uh, the Zelda timeline is so confusing. Uh, I, I actually have... The, the, there's like a book that, that has like the Zelda timeline in it. And like I have it, but I've never... I like skimmed through it, but I never actually read it. The Divine Beast Van Rudania, controlled by Darik of the Gorons. The Divine Beast Va Mido, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. The Divine Beast Van Ruda, controlled by Mipha of the Zora. And the Divine Beast Van Naboris, controlled by Ubosa of the Garado. Oh. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beast to help you. You must infiltrate the Divine Beasts that were stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these Divine Beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. Yeah. Uh, the Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. Uh, I watched a video on the entire timeline. There's three or four different timelines. Chronologically, Skyward Sword is the first game. Yeah. Dude, I, I, I've, never, I've never touched that game before, dude. And I don't think I've ever seen any gameplay on it. But I do want to get that game. And, like, I've only played, like, maybe an hour or two of Twilight Princess. That's another game that I've always wanted to play. And I actually, like, I own Twilight Princess on the Wii. Like, I actually own that game. And I never, uh, yeah, I never played it. Because at the time when I when I first got the Wii, um, it was, like, uh, I had it at my ex's house. It was kind of like hers. I bought it for her. And I uh, bought Twilight Princess uh, for her so she could, like, try to get into it. And uh, I remember I had to like do a, like a bunch of parts for her that she couldn't uh, get past. But then like as far as myself, I, I like I only played it like an hour or two. Yeah, dude. Uh, so like I want to like finish this game. You know, like this game is this will be a while before I finish this game, and then I want to get uh, Skyward Sword for sure. You played all of them except the Game Boy and Nintendo uh, DS ones. Damn, dude. Yeah. I've obviously played the first one. I played the second one. Um, I played Ocarina of Time. I played Majora's Mask. Uh, this one. A little bit of Twilight Princess. A little bit of... Uh, what's that cartoony one? Um, does that have Wave in it? What's that cartoony one? I even played it on stream. Wayward, uh, is it Wayward? Or am I thinking Skyward? It's the ocean one. Wind Waker! Fuck! Yeah, Wind Waker. Wind Waker was really fun, dude. I wish I hadn't stopped playing that. That's another game I'd have to, like, completely restart. You marathon Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword on the Wii when I broke my arm? Oh, damn, dude. Yeah, no, yeah dude. Wind Waker was really fun. I wish they'd put Wind Waker on the Switch. Someone at the research lab in Hit, uh, Hitino Village might be able to help you. Oh, yeah, that's where the, that's where the scientists and shit are. Oh. The location shining on the eastern edge is Hitino Village. It's a small village, one on the very few places that avoided uh, suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. All right. You are Princess Zelda's only hope and high rules as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Anakin's gonna come in. Someone say destiny. Whoa. <laughs> Playing with motion controls with a broken army and easy. Dude, I, I know, man. 
There was a, uh, I broke my arm a few years back, and like, I was trying to stream, you know, with my arm, uh, with my arm fucked up, dude, and th that was even a struggle. Yeah, he plays a little Destiny, dude. He plays a little here and there. Destiny before Xbox removed all the DLC from Game Pass. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that. My uh, my coworker plays a shit dude. So my coworker, like the only game he really plays is Destiny. Um, but uh, he was asking me like a few weeks back if I was getting that new uh, that new DLC, like the uh, what's called the Witch Queen or whatever. And uh, I was like, yeah, no, <laughs> like nah, I'm not uh, I'm not getting that. And uh, and then he mentioned he's like you know Game Pass took off all the uh, all the DLC right? And I was like what? I was like no nah, I didn't know that. And he's like yeah but uh, he said that you can still like access it uh, through PC. I, I I think is what he said. If you if you still if you have Game Pass Ultimate, then you can still get the DLC on PC, but you can't do it on console. Yeah, I don't know if I ever did any raids. Uh, if I did, I can't remember. I know I played a lot of the first Destiny game. Um, I played through, like, all the DLCs on, uh, the first Destiny game. And I remember the last DLC that came out on the, uh, on, on the first Destiny game. I remember I got that the day of, because that's when I was, like, really playing it a lot. And, um, yeah, I remember I played it, I, I got the DLC the day it came out there. But, uh, yeah. I was, I was playing Destiny 2 for a bit. Um, when was that? Was that the summertime? Something like that. It's been a while, though. And then I kind of, like, fell off of it. I was like, that was fun for, like, the three weeks I was playing. <laughs> and then it got to a, a point where I, I had it installed on my, uh, on my PC and my Xbox. But then I wasn't playing it, uh, so much. So I was like playing Forza, and I was like playing Halo, and I wasn't like touching Destiny. So then I just like I uninstalled it from my Xbox, and then I saw it chilling on my PC. I was like, I'm not gonna play this anymore. And I uninstalled it there, but yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't. First off, I don't. I don't know what I'm doing in Destiny, so I wouldn't be able to play solo. Um, but yeah, dude, uh, I, I was playing a lot with my coworker, and I had a lot of fun uh, playing with him and doing all that. That was that was pretty fun. I I, I can't I can't hate on that. Yes, yeah, but it is one of those games where, uh, yeah, dude, it's definitely a lot more fun playing with people. Well, I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hop off here for the uh, for the day, and uh, probably get something to, like eat. Cause I'm a little hungry, and uh, yeah, probably just hang out and chill until the wife needs to get picked up from work, and I'll go pick her up. Yeah, dude, definitely. And, and like, it's it's one of those games where like I'm not gonna be playing it a lot, so I don't retain the information. <laughs> I'm constantly gonna need somebody there, like holding my hand, <laughs> like telling me what to do, you know. So yeah, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, dude, thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out, man, and uh, kind of like guiding me uh, through through and helping me out. Much appreciated. Yeah, uh, let's see here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, Timmy. Yeah, Timmy came in with the five gifted subs. Dude, thank you, man. Thank you for the subs. Much appreciated, my friend. Um, tomorrow, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. Um, 
probably probably about the same time. Uh, I would think maybe maybe around the same time. Um, cause my wife's got to work again tomorrow, and uh, I was I was telling Lisa earlier um, that there's this pizza place. Uh, I, I guess it's just out here because she said she had never heard of it before. But they make like this taco pizza that's like so fucking bomb, and it's just like regular like pizza crust, and then they have like seasoned like beef on it, I guess, with like some hot sauce on it and like lettuce on top and olives and like all this shit. It's like so good. Um, it's a little drive away, but I'm gonna order it and then drive over there to pick it up. But I, I think I'm gonna do that about eleven and come home, maybe eat a little bit of it, and then uh, try to stream afterwards. So um, yeah. So we'll see where it goes, but I, I do I do plan on streaming tomorrow. I uh, I might continue uh, this, maybe play a little bit of this, and maybe a little bit of something else. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I I, I do want to play this. I want to uh, keep uh, playing this game because I had fun today playing it. I was actually looking forward to this all week because I knew Saturday I was I was gonna restart Breath of the Wild, and there was multiple times uh, at work. That I actually wanted to uh, load the game up and just start playing it, but I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, I'm gonna wait till I stream, and I'm just gonna start it from the very beginning. So I'm glad I held out. <laughs> yeah, uh, Roni, Joey, Anakin, thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, Timmy, if you're still out there, see his name in the list. He's probably uh, probably taking a nap. Maybe I don't know. Might have to uh, work tonight. Lisa. If you're out there, thanks for hanging out. Uh, but, yeah, you guys have a good rest of your day. And hopefully I stream again tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna raid the homie. I'm going to raid the homie uh, Heineman. He was in here earlier hanging out. Um, so I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Peace. I just got tore up chat. I just hit some turrets. What's up, Shanks? Rally oh, just ran into the TP. <laughs> Teleporter. Yeah, someone had a TP in your green arm. There's a tech suitor. Smacked them up before. Well, I'm gonna eat this moose to get some health here. Riley, how was uh, how was the rest of your stream? What's up, Shanks? What's up, Lumberg? Appreciate the uh, the raid, boys. We're about to switch to a new server. Yeah, dude, were you you were.